Worship, Mr. Speaker. My name is Wali Raji. I represent a peripheral constituency of Lagos State. Um, I want to appreciate those who have spoken on this motion. But I need to draw the attention of the, of the House to a similar motion that was moved on the 15th of October, 2015, on the incessant clashes between headsmen and farmers in Nigeria. And we resolved on that day that the solution to the problem of these clashes is establishment of cattle breeding settlements. And that the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the states, should work out the modalities of establishing these settlements. But it is most unfortunate that in this country, until issues assume a destructive uh, dimension, we do not take actions. If action had been taken based on that resolution in October 2015, after which we also had a public hearing where the Minister of Agriculture was represented, the Cattle Breeders Association was also represented, and some other stakeholders were represented. If we had followed up with necessary action, probably we would not be talking of finding solution to the same problem that we discussed and uh, made recommendations on way back in 2015. And I therefore urge us to be consistent in our resolution. You know, uh, uh, I want to also state that if you continue, yes, cattle breeding, cattle, I mean, cattle rearing is a private business. But government has always been known to support businesses. We, and the issue of settlements, you know, is not, farm settlements is not new in this country. Way back during the time of Shifobafe Mahulo, we had cattle, I mean, we had farm settlements in, in the western region. Ogudu Cattle Ranch, we all know the popular Ogudu Cattle, uh, Cattle Ranch was established by a state government, the old eastern regional government, and some other, uh, I mean, other settlements all over the country. I want to say that the government see as a role to play in creating the enabling environment, you know, for the breeding of cattle in this country, just as is done for some other businesses. I mean, industrial activities is a private, I mean, is, is a private business, yet government is engaged in the establishment of industrial estates. In my state, we have a fish farm estate. So this, uh, whether we call it colony or we call it settlement, Whatever name we want to call it, it is the same thing we are talking about. But it all depends on the operation of this uh, uh, settlement. The government can run it on a cost recovery basis. So whichever way. But I want to state that uh, there is no way government can not, will not intervene if we want to have a lasting solution to this problem. So I therefore want to suggest that the idea of that settlement must, I mean, must be supported and, you know, it should be in collaboration between the federal. The federal Minister of Agriculture can coordinate, but with the involvement of the state uh, government. So, because uh, we've had similar intervention, interventions in other aspects of agriculture, irrigation, 
I mean, the government spent a lot of money on irrigation to facilitate crop, crop farming so, and some other areas. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, my colleagues, I will want us to support the, uh, the idea that of putting the, the farmers together, the cattle breeders together, you know, in a settlement and provide them with all the necessary facilities ranging from, I mean, uh, ranches, uh, medical facilities, you know, veterinary medical facilities and other facilities to facilitate their business. That, that's my contribution, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I stand to move a motion for the amendment of uh, prayer one of the motion and the amendment read thus, that the federal government should work out the modality with interested state government in the establishment of cattle breeding settlement as a lasting solution to the incessant clashes between herdsmen and farmers. So I so move. Second, Honorable Mohammed. Thank you. Those in favor of the amendment say aye. Those against it say nay. Aye, Savit. <laughs>